So when it comes to installing bathroom hardware, there's really three critical mistakes that I see people making all the time. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid each of the mistakes. And if you don't have a bunch of fancy tools, don't worry about it. Also gonna show you how to build a really accurate level out of a piece of cardboard and a string. So buckle up. So the first real mistake that I see here is just the locations that people end up putting the hardware. Let's quickly run through the heights and then I'll go through how to center things properly so that it's gonna look as good as possible. Now a really handy tip for me, I'm six foot two, and if you're anywhere kind of five foot 10 to six foot three, four, this is gonna work really well for you. The robe hook height is gonna be right at eye level. That works out to be 69 inches up off the ground. The little hand towel hook is gonna be right at shoulder height. That works out to be about 64 inches up off the ground. Towel bar is gonna be right to your elbow. That's 48 inches up off the ground for me. And then the toilet paper holder is gonna be right to the bottom of your fingertips when you're standing straight up and down. And that is the ideal height of 27 inches up off the ground. Now with all these heights, you can be plus or minus two or three inches. If you have kids, you might wanna lower everything down kind of four to six inches. Now when it comes to orientating things horizontally, for this little hand towel holder here, I've just centered it in this overall space and that's gonna look pretty decent. You could center it on the countertop, but it's gonna be a little farther for actually using the hand towel. When it comes to the towel bar, I ended up just centering it in between the front edge of the toilet and the edge of this tile. That way subconsciously, it's just gonna look like it's kind of in balance and you always wanna make sure that you put your towel bar in a place where you can easily reach it from the bathtub or the shower. Now, when it comes to the toilet paper holder, you can definitely put it over on this side and it is recommended that you install it kind of six inches in front of the front of the toilet seat. But that would put it like right underneath the towel bar. And to be honest, I really don't like putting the toilet paper holder where you can see it when you come into the bathroom. You don't really want the roll of toilet paper to be the focal point. So I'm kind of a fan of actually putting it on the cabinet, even though it's a little sacrilegious to screw into the cabinet. This way it's kind of out of the way. And what you want to do there is just kind of get it as close to the front edge as possible. And you want to have it up high enough so that it's not going to be like right down below beside your leg. That way it's going to be easier to access. And the second big mistake that I see quite often is getting your towel bar off level. Being a lifelong carpenter, you develop a bit of a hair trigger for things being off level. And I've probably seen hundreds of wacky towel bar installations. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to get this towel bar perfectly level. So the king of getting things level is always gonna be the laser level. If you're in the market for a laser level, highly recommend this DeWalt unit. The thing that sets it apart for me is its ability to stick onto metal corner beads, not mark up the wall, not fall off the wall. This is a really nice unit. I'll put this in the description of the video along with some of my other favorite tools. Now, the second thing that you can do here is if you have a level, even if it's a cheap one, that's probably gonna work pretty good. If you wanna know if your level's accurate, throw a piece of painter's tape on the wall, level it out, trace a line, the level line, flip your level around and just see if it's reading the same measurement. A lot of times with these cheap levels, they're pretty squirrely. They're cheap, right? So they're not gonna stay level for a long time. If they take a bang, the little vial gets out of level. And then for those of you that may have a level and it's not calibrated properly, or you don't have a level, check this little bad boy out. This is a cardboard gravity level. Yeah, it looks Mickey Mouse, rinky dink. You're wondering how accurate could this thing be? This thing is just as accurate as the laser if you build it correctly. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these quick. We'll hop down to the garage and then we'll come on back and level out the towel bar. So to build the level, you're gonna need a cardboard box. I'm just using the box that the hardware came in and then just trimming it up. Nothing too fancy here, just kind of making it into a more usable shape. Then the next thing you wanna do is cut a perfectly straight reference edge along the top of the level. And then you wanna make a notch roughly right in the center where the string is gonna sit. The next thing here is to use the 345 triangle Pythagoras theorem to get a perfectly 90 degree line coming down from the reference mark. Now I'm expanding that out to a 9, 12, 15. The bigger you make the triangle, the more accurate it's gonna be. So you just measure out nine inches, 12 inches down, and then connect that little point with a 15 inch hypotenuse. Hypo I can't say that word, hypotenuse, hypotenuse, I cannot say that word. Anyways, you get what I mean here. And then you draw a line straight down right through the bisection of those points. Then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna grab some kind of a washer, a nut, or a ring. Something round is gonna work the best. That way the center of gravity will be right 
beneath the string. So grab your string, tie on the washer, and then tie a little stop knot onto the top of the string, slip that into the little slit that you cut in the center, put that in there, and the level is ready to go. So we're back up. Um, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Then we'll check it with the laser just to make sure this thing is actually as good as I said it was. So I've got my center point here in the height of the towel bar. And I've gone ahead and I put two little lines here that are gonna be the inside screws of the clip. So I can just level this thing across and make my marks accordingly. So to use this thing, you wanna put it on the level that you're going for. This is the center mark here. And then you want to just line this string up with this perfect perpendicular line. So you line that up. Boom, there you go. Just make a mark. Put a little bigger mark on there and we'll confirm this with the laser. Yeah, so there you go. You can see that that laser line is splitting the little marks right in half. That cardboard level is bang on accurate. So now the last mistake that I'm sure you've seen hundreds, if not thousands of times, is just the hardware falling off the wall. And that really has to do with the type of drywall anchors that you're going to use. Yeah, in an ideal world, you'd have blocking or studs in there, but most of the time you don't. So you have to use some kind of a drywall anchor. Now, if you use these little plastic inserts that come with the, uh, the hardware a lot of the times, this is terrible. This is gonna fail 100% of the time. Now, the hardware that I picked up is a little nicer stuff. It came with these type of uh, drywall anchors. These little twisted anchors are pretty decent. I've used these for all kinds of things, but they're prone to failing in two different ways. The first is on the initial installation. If you over tighten it, it strips out the drywall and then there's nothing really holding it in place. And then it has a second opportunity to strip out when you put the screw in and you tighten it up because it just wants to keep twisting this little plastic anchor. These are pretty decent, but what professionals will use and what I've used thousands of times for this type of installation is just your plain toggle bolt. The toggle bolt really can't be beat. And the only way that this is gonna pull off the wall is if you're just gonna rip out a huge swath of drywall. So I'm gonna use that because there's no studs where I wanna put the towel bar. So I'll show you how to use these things. So for these bolts, you need to drill a 3 8 hole and then put the bolt into the plate. And you wanna make sure that the bolt is all the way past the end of the toggle. Otherwise it could get jammed. You also wanna check the toggle springs to make sure that it's recoiling properly. If when you put it in the hole and it does get jammed, just pull the bolt out, abandon the toggles, and start over again. Yeah, so when you get those in there, just give it a pull and make sure that the little toggles have flipped out. And then you just want to tighten those up with a Phillips uh, screwdriver. So those babies are on there. They're rock solid. We're going to double check it with our little cardboard level. And yes, I absolutely stabbed my screwdriver into the drywall up here. I was looking back at the uh, little flip out camera screen with my screwdriver. I'm like, oh yeah, it's looking. So that's a rookie mistake. Don't do that. Let's check the height here. Get that on each edge. So once you've double checked that for level, just go ahead and snug these up with a hand screwdriver. We'll quickly throw in the towel bar. One other handy little trick, if you never want this towel bar to start wobbling in the future, take out the little set screw here that holds it on. Take it all the way out. Put on a little bit of medium Loctite onto these threads here. You don't want to use the, uh, the, lock, the super strong lock-in stuff. I think that stuff is red. This stuff comes out blue. It's kind of a medium Loctite. That's just, these little set screws will back out over time and then you'll get that classic wobble and it might fall off the wall that way. So throw a little bit of this blue Loctite on there. Just put a tiny bit on there. You don't want it to be so that it'll never come off. So just like one little drop on the thread. So that little unit is rock solid. It's never coming off the wall. Hey, if you want to see how to perfectly fit cabinet gables tight to the wall, check out this video right over there. That'll help keep the doors open at Funny Carpenter Enterprises. And check out the description, the Amazon links. Maybe you like some of the tools. Maybe you're purchasing something off Amazon anyways. Every little bit helps. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. Power down.